Hey guys, Mark is back with another video. Today we're gonna take a look at the uh, Danfo Sound, the new challenger, new speaker in the market, uh, and the Pioneer, right? The Pioneer was a very nice sounding speaker for a long time. It's a very quality sounding speaker, and it's gonna be the, the diff different, like the both is the mid-range speakers. So some of them advertise the mid-base speakers. Doesn't matter, we're gonna see the specs and how the speakers uh, perform, right? So the Pioneer is gonna, it has to play like 50 hertz, like really, really like mid, uh, mid bass speaker, 50 hertz to 18,000 hertz. So it's up, it's like very wide playing speaker. I did a tons of videos compared with the other speakers. Some of speakers were destroying the Pioneer, some of the speakers, the Pioneer was destroying a lot higher end expensive speakers, right? Watch my other videos. Now, down for sound, it's gonna play 100 hertz to 10,000. So again, 50 hertz to 18,000, 100 hertz to 10,000, right? It's like, this speaker's plays here, this speaker's plays a lot, lot, lot wider. So, power handling is both similar, the Pioneer advertised a little bit less, but a lot of people who's using the Pioneers, these speakers last a lot longer, even though they advertise 150 watts, these guys advertise like 200 watts, but the Pioneer, you can give the 200 watts without any problem. Uh, tested speaker, the plays loud and all long time, uh, but these guys didn't test it, brand new in the, in the market. I was impressed with the cheaper model, it's the cheapest speaker right now, and it's at half price right now with the sale, right? But if you, if, uh, if JP, JP, right, the, the guy's name, uh, if you put the original price again, it's gonna be challenging. For that price right now they're selling, I think it's, we're, we're gonna find out. Let's play some music, right? We're not gonna cut now, so I'm gonna give the full range because it's low playing. Full range with the bass, we're gonna shake the speakers. After that, I'm gonna start the cutting 50 hertz and 100 hertz and up also, right? Uh, right, it's getting, the both speakers getting full range is uncut, so we're gonna play from the Pioneer, right? You can say 18,000 hertz, the advertising plays clean, right? But we, on the Pioneer, comparing with the Danfoss sound, we're missing a lot of uh, tones and details. It was exactly the same thing with the Pioneer. When I played it with the different speakers, the most expensive, the, a lot, the double price speakers, the Pioneer was a lot nicer, cleaner, comparing with those speakers, right? But now the Danfoss sound is like, the bass is there, very nice, smooth bass. You shouldn't tune like this, but, uh, it, it's even it can can handle the bass right, uh, like a mid mid bass speakers. You can run like a full mid bass speakers. It's gonna be punch a lot nice, and you can run <laughs> a lot less tweeters right. It's gonna be like everything, every details on the speakers to get the quality sound. That if it's a speakers plays the quality, it's gonna save tons of money. You understand for the amplifier, for the tweeters, for the, all the stuff. Okay, let's play the different music. All right, I cut it 50 hertz to 10,000 hertz. We're gonna start from the Pioneer and I'm gonna give you some juice. <laughs> Thank you. 
right? Watch it. So I cut the 50 hertz here. Uh, the, the, the DSP I'm using, the export DSP, right? 50 hertz, now it's the pine in trouble, but the... Oh, shit. Why this? Oh, pine is smelling a little bit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't smell it a little bit. I gotta cut the, the yeah. I give it too too much power, right? So. I don't want to burn any speakers right today, so I'm gonna keep it safe a little bit. I cut the, <laughs> the volume a little bit. Pioneer starts uh, smelling because the brand new speaker. Uh, yeah, it's it can be, but it's a Pioneer lasts longer. As you can see, even the 50 hertz, this guy advertised like 100 hertz. That's why I always say like, but the, the specs is advertised like a just advertising, right? Specs. This guy is capable to play like without any problems. Am I advertising too much these speakers? Because the price right now, guys, go ahead and grab it. Uh, I'm not getting any commission for for the sales. I don't get uh, any BS. Only thing I put the links on description because the DS18, the website is garbage, right? You can't find the speaker. So I'm gonna just put the link so you guys can go ahead and buy it and just a comment below. Like when you install it, my thank you. Like all the other guys is commenting. Like all, every time I say that this speaker is good, the, the guys is buying it and you're going to see the comment, right? I have so many positive comments. Thank you guys for supporting this little microscopic channel. I try to grow this channel up to 100 um, subscribers, but nobody wants to subscribe. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm here to help you guys. So yeah, here's the deal. For the price, now it's a really good speaker. The Pioneer is dead right now for the price. Uh, this guy can play up to 18,000 hertz without any problem. Clarity there, music details is there, bass is there. Uh, and very nice speaker for the beginning, right? You can install these speakers on the head unit, the factory amplifier, factory everything. And you're going to grow your sound system. It's like huge plus. Sensitivity is good. Right away is a place loud. So you're going to buy just a full speakers, change it. You have a good sound qualities right away. And later on, you add the amplifier, you add the head unit, you add the DSP, all that stuff. And you can save tons of money to get the really good sounding speakers. Pioneer, most natural sounding speakers, hands down. It keep, it's going to be a very nice, nice sounding speaker. But some speakers in the market, it's, it's, it's better for the price right now, right? I'm out also in the next video, guys. Next video, it's going to be who? Yeah, DS, uh, down for sound versus DS18. It's going to be interesting, right? Let's do it.